Okay, welcome to game three of Skaven. I kind of got interrupted halfway through this, so one of my turns I didn't finish, but it didn't end up hurting me too bad. Uh, this was a very close game. I almost pulled off a win. So goddamn close. It's pretty interesting. Stayed interesting the whole game, so let's let's go and start. Uh, skulking an orcs team against my heralds of the warp. The Skaven. Game three in this series with the Skaven. I'm going to open one other series open. Skiries. I mean series open. With my Dark Elves. <sighs> Too many people play orcs and dwarves. And dwarves, frankly, are boring. They all look the same. They all have the same abilities, except for their runners and that big goddamn war machine, which you only get to use for one... One, one rush down the field. That's it. So even though I think I got a pretty cool name for orcs, gold hammers, I am not going to be recording or doing them. They're just going to sit there. Maybe I'll play some single players with them, which I'm not going to record because single player against the AI, you know, isn't very good. The AI isn't very good. It really isn't. They're not very good. So, here we go. Oh, switch view. Let's see the back of my guys. To the front. Huh. Dude, I like this game. They just got such a nice aesthetic. Um, both lost a turn. I kicked that on side. Actually, on purpose. Which was awesome. Waste of reroll right off the bat. I just like this. Uh, check out the aesthetic. I mean, orcs are orcs. They have a nice aesthetic, too. Look, I mean, it looks... He's got, like, a fucking sign hanging off his back. I'm ignoring the rest of what's going on. He's moving his people up to build a cage. But, I mean, look at that. Uh, um, that is awesome. Just the Ratman. I've always liked the Ratman. Always liked the Warhammer Ratman. Actually, my favorite. Just... Just... They're insane, but they're not chaos insane. They're... They are uh, uh, hard to... Uh, I'm trying to explain it. Ooh, maybe I should do this from this view. This is kind of neat. Switch. Zoom in. Boop. Knock me back. Hey, he's pushing me back. But, uh... I mean, orcs have a nice aesthetic, too. I like their story. They do have a story, they're just not crazy bloodthirsty. Well, they are crazy bloodthirsty motherfuckers, but. I, I just like the Skaven. I'm, I think they're cool. East for Warhammer Fantasy. They are one of the neatest races. They're just kind of out there. Here I am using uh, the Red Ogre, like the Minotaur, for the first time. Uh, Kraken cages with their frenzy, extra strength, Prince of Tail. Locks down. There it is. Move it in. Locked him down. Locked him down. He cannot... He, he has to take out Linny. And, of course, nobody's touching Linny, so he's gonna have to move all his guys in to force him out. And I locked him down, so he can't move him. I'll lock down some other people, if I can. Do I remember doing... No, I just punched him. Push him back. And then, uh, move him forward so they can't try to run down. There's the gutter runner. He goes into backup Linny. Uh, use some of that dodge ability. Seventy percent pass. There it is. That's what Prince Altail and Tentacles and shit like that do. Those guys do not run away from you, and then they're forced to make mistakes. Oh, this is this is such a this was such a good game. <laughs> yeah, I'm punishing his his. I, I'm totally punishing him. Moving him up, free up the ball. Yeah. Oh, see, that was so unlucky. He got the block on me. One of the few orcs he has with, I mean, these are new orc teams. He's only got, uh, what is it, blitzers. He's got, he can have two. Two people with block. And he, man, and it happened in that one. 
even after a reroll with four dice, still the best thing I had. I had. So he pushes me back, which is smart. Picks the picks the ball up and runs that way. Yeah, my team's focused over here, so that was actually a pretty, pretty good thing to do. Yeah, he's starting to build the cage. But you know what? Cage is a little hard to build like that. Having having uh, a goblin as one of the walls of your cage is probably not the smartest. There's a little guy with blocks stunning my guy. Boom! My guy with block. Oh yeah. Uh, the big thing orcs have over Skaven here is they are have better armor. They they really do. Skaven have more movement. Look at that four. That blows. You knock him down. He ain't getting up anytime soon. Yeah, I just tried to stood him up. I didn't try to actually charge him because there was a lot of people surrounding him and it wouldn't have done any good. I'll bring him up, see if I can surround and take down his uh, his troll. He goes in because that's my uh, storm vermin. He's got block. But two shitty rolls, which sucks. Both were skulls. You know, this is a die rolling game. Sometimes luck just ain't with you. It happens. Uh, you move down pretty down the field pretty fast. I'll wait until I get the ball. I, I fucking run that sucker in like a like. Well, pretty easy actually. The thing with the smashy teams is, it's hard to. To knock them around once they have the ball, at least not without risking your people. I got a lot better at this one. I haven't had anybody die since that first dwarf game. Because, oh my fucking god, that was crazy. Goddamn dwarves. Knock me down. Knocks him back. No, Skeezel, you're KO'd. Skip that shit. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't that neat? Well, he got knocked down, but isn't that cool? Formed half a cage. Pretty decent. Let's switch the view. Back to my side. Move people in here to... Try to. Oh, well, I kind of move people in there. He he for some reason ignored him. They're attacking the ball, Bob. I know, Jim. Push him. Watching the same match as you. The I made a mistake there. I didn't follow up, but then I moved in and managed to not get hurt. So that was useful. Oh, but I got block. Ha ha ha, motherfucker. Block is so goddamn useful. There, I don't have block, so he knocked me on my ass. The reverse happened. Um, I only got one guy here. I was hoping with that to knock him down so my good runner could run around. But it didn't happen. Push him back. It's good, good smart thing to do. Move him forward. He can have that uh, goblin block. Lock down my... Uh, Lineman there. I mean, get these three guys pretty locked in, but you know what? It's taken one, two, three, four, five guys. Oh, there he is. Skrillex is KO'd. Damn troll. Yeah. I KO'd ain't too bad. Could be worse. Block. That's uh, such a useful skill. I really need to focus on getting that. For all my linemen need to have block. Every lineman needs block. Especially Skaven, I mean. With Chaos, yeah, you got Beastmen, Chaos, and Minotaurs. You don't have much of a variation. Skaven have a lot of variation, which is nice. You got Throwers, your Gutter Runners, Linemen, and, bl and then you got your Storm Vermin. Now you can have four Gutter Runners... But they're going to be your dodgy 
dodgy people getting around stuff. They have a pretty high uh, agility, as you see here, a four, low strength, and a ridiculous movement rate of nine. You get one MA on that, and then you take the uh, skill where you can run three, and they can run from the scrimmage line to touchdown in a straight line. I mean, not even doesn't even have much of a straight line. It can even have a little bit of variation as long as it aren't too far off. So you get them the ball here, you clear a path, bam, they are in touchdown area. Uh, it takes a little work up to that. It does it that uh, block, so useful. But linemen, block. Uh, I'm gonna get block on my linemen. I mean, yeah, my AV is seven, but so they don't need as much as they can get. But. Uh, Stunty. Yeah, don't have Stunty. Another nice thing to get, if you can get some mutations, there's some mutations that let them, that, that have dodge and block abilities. Um, for your gutter runner's uh, extra arm, lets you dodge, catch, and pass. Is, is it dodge, catch, and pass? Well, skeeve. He's pushing me back. Pushing me way back. Yeah, you know, score. I mean, look, he's a freaking one point from there. I don't have... Steve is stunned. I mean, most of my guys are sitting on the freaking ground. But nobody's dead. I consider that a success. Oh, shit. Yeah. Here, I try, but it got me. I didn't have a reroll, so... Shit happens. Solid punch to the main <sighs> And he's got a 167%. He's got a 67% chance of moving. I think he... Yeah. There. The guy with the block. And runs it in. Blitz it. That's a good idea. Primbrenator. Skulking. Primbrenator is a good good guy. Uh, my guys woke up, which was nice. Okay, it's about to continue. All the knockout players are back on the field. How did that? And here we go. Here's where I get a possession. And I score my point pretty quick. Oh no, wait, this is it's turn eight. I get my one run. So I try to damage people on this one. I kinda show them what I'm gonna do. And I basically do it. Um, after the kickoff. Well, can't have three people over there. But I get my Rad Ogre, ogre cl close so he can smash it. But even if the Rad Ogre isn't there, see, he left his big spot open. That Gunner Runner can just, boom, right up that, that line. So even if the Rad Ogre fails, he's still going to get a bonus here. I prefer the Rad Ogre to do it with the Frenzy. I can have a really, really good chance of uh, knocking him off the pitch. Cheering fans. Yay. He got a reroll. Boo. Now remember, <laughs> I kind of had my first game, I got hammered pretty good. So I see. Push him back. One negative with Frenzy is he, he kind of forces you to move forward. Mm. There it is. Shoot him. Wiggle the stick. Shoot. I, I like that. It's like a fucking gun. That is awesome. Oh, I failed. Bummer. Definitely get Wiggle a stick a bonus after this. So, half time, 1 0. But you know what? I get the ball in again, anyways. Okay, here I am setting up the uh, my same offensive. Basically, I'm going to stay with the same offensive when it comes down to it. <laughs> He does compensate a little bit, but he leaves some holes wide open. You want to do that with Elf or Skaven. Gutter Runners and El Elves all have like an agility for almost. I don't think their linemen do, but almost every other player they have has freaking high ass agility. And uh, even any any hole a Gutter Runner can make it through, or an Elf can make it through, is is bad news. The difference with Elves is they're good at at uh, passing. Skaven. I'm returning my Skaven team into a passing team. Uh, after this, I do take some passing benefits with the thrower. 
I do have a thrower. I mean, what's he got? He's got... Oh, kick off! Woo! Nice weather! Yay! It's pretty crappy. It's up there, but... Comes Red Ogre, pushing him back. Boom! Oh, yeah. The ball is in the player's hands. What next? This time, shoot. Wiggle the stick. Oh, yeah. Two. Check that out. See? Just bam. Nine. Nine. He actually, from the line of scrimmage, he can get to right here. Right here. And actually, after this, I upgrade him so he can get to right there from the line of scrimmage. If I make three... Uh, we're going for it. Need to get shore fooded next, so I get to reroll my going for it, and then he can run down half the field all at once. And that's a one-turn score. A one-turn score. It could, that could make a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Right, built half a cage. Because that's what you want to try to do. I try locking down uh, two orcs. But well, I'm forcing him to use one. Yeah, he, he re-rolled that. He's trying to stop me. Which was smart. He got in there. The half a cage isn't a full cage. And uh, Gunner Runners only have strength of two. So... But... But, uh... Well... Since... I had pinned him down with this guy. He didn't get his bonus. All it did was make it even. And even 2-2? Two to two, It's a gamble. I've I've definitely lost that gamble before. Yeah. That guy can't. The, these big, big ogres can't run with the shit. Neither can the trolls. So getting away from them early on is actually... Unless you want to pin them there. Which I kind of keep them distracted. But thinking about it, I wasn't paying attention to their moving allowance. But that, I mean, a black orc can go one, two, three, four. He has to do two running for it. One, two. That's as close as he's going to get. That's it. Boom. They have a AG of two, AV of nine. So, I mean, uh, Lizardmen have a five. That black orc kind of made it. Here I go. Dodge. Sucks. I hate dodge. Red ogre! Oh! Oh! Go back down. Missed it. Yeah, I'm doing stuff down here. Probably should pay closer attention. Move him in. See, that eliminates his influence on my guy. Oof. Oof. With a 67% dodge. Reroll that shit. And that means I definitely out hurt him. Run my gut runner up. I think they're waiting for the ball now. It's lineman. Or talking to the fans. Knocked him back. See, here's a mistake. I should have taken him and run him up. And handed it to him. Or run him in, even. Decent chance of that. That was that was a mistake. I should have blitzed. I didn't blitz. Yeah. Gotta be careful with that. In order to do... Ooh, Steve is KO'd. In order to blitz, you need to uh, click on him. And then choose blitz if you blitz from a standstill. It is possible. Now, I'm used to using my... Chaos. And horns is useful, but you have to have at least one square movement. So blitzing from down or that isn't as effective. I do with the Minotaur because he's so strong anyways. Bam! <laughs> Injured. You tried to run run around me too much. And see, then I, check this out. And I just go, hey, hey, gutter runner. Yeah. Boop. Grab that ball. And then I go in. I don't want to fuck around. My guys are lightly armored. If I would have fucked up, he had enough people down there to really start pounding on me. Go Snickers! With a little karate kick. Haha! -ha! You know what? 
Is 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 that my my first goal? I think I think it is. No. Let's see. Concede. Oh well. Anyways. Austin thought. No, I, I love this. This I like. I like defense in depth, even against this. If you're a squishy team, frankly, you want defense in depth, not because you're expecting them to run past you, but because you don't want to get your people smashed to pieces on the front line. So I tend to leave a limited front line unless I'm fighting another squishy team that I think I can just overpower. Because, yeah. Fuck that. He overpowers me. I mean, strength four? Yeah. Now, this is where a lot of action happens, and I get so damn close. I mean, literally, one block makes a difference because without my gutter runner... My guy is one, one damn space. He can't make that extra space. That's all. That is it. Now, see, he built the cage, which is nice. And here's where I show you how you use a rat ogre. If you can get him to run with the wild animal. That's, that's the part of problem with it. There's nothing better than hitting someone Just small. pushing him. See, having the troll away from two guys, it's dangerous because he's really stupid. Having him next to a person gives him a 50% chance. Having him by himself, he has literally a 50% chance of not doing anything. Bam. And if he's next to a person, he has only like, like a 1 in 6 chance of not doing anything. So... Having him all by himself like that with a, with a really stupid character or even a bonehead is... Well, bonehead's... Bonehead's not as bad. R really stupid is, is bad. And with... You got two really stupids that's... Lizardmen have them and so does the orcs. Woohoo, stun. Let me run my ass around. Oof. See, I didn't want to put him here because I have had somebody go, knock, 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 boom. It really sucks. Yeah, you can do that. You can domino effect. So, be careful. Be very careful. There, he's knocking some other people around. Yeah, he frees up his troll. His troll's next to somebody, which is a good idea there. Moves him forward. But, uh-oh. And loner. Don't even bother rerolling a loner. Don't reroll. Let's see, he tried to reroll. If you're desperate, yeah. He's not really desperate. He's one-on-one. -on -one. I would have just taken it. You you maintain a reroll. And loner is just a... I mean, you, you've only got a one in three chance of... Of doing it. I've hardly ever had a loner work for me. Reroll blows. His guys weren't down. He would be basically in the same position as when he started, which sucks, but it's not as bad as it seems. So. And he'd maintain a reroll, which I think would have made him a difference. See, I got a reroll there. Push him back. Boom! But I don't follow up because I don't want to be right there. That's dangerous area. Push him back. And charge him right in. And he's alignment against a, a blitzer, which is a little dangerous, but you just need to knock the ball out of his hands. And basically the ball stays there for the rest of the game. <laughs> Not come around. I only had one dice. Yeah, but a lot of what I wanted to do this turn is already done. Which is good. I uh, Running him around, look at that. There was no way I was going to get him through that. 
with those two there. And if he wouldn't have moved forward, I wouldn't have had any holes. So, he right there. He can't get through that. There's no way. I mean, he'd be there all the way down. Nope, missed it. I said, that ball barely moves from that position. That's how we tied. This is what it ends up being the rest of the game. But it's an interesting, interesting play. I like this, like the play that we do. See, I'm pushing his back. I would wish I would have smashed him, but pushed him out of the way. Uh, dangerous, but with him being down, he can't, he can't push past a downed player. Well, you, actually, you kind of can coming in from the side, but from the side, you also have to deal with the rat ogre. So I didn't think it was going to happen. Now, he pinned him, so it was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a risk, but a risk I was willing to take. Don't follow up on that. You don't want to follow up, because that's how your player gets knocked back, knocked in there. He didn't get injured, he just got taken off. Uh, move him forward, pin down some people. Get the black orc, he's got a movement of four, and on top of that, you come out of a down, you have like half movement. So, two, not going to happen. I mean, he ain't going to move far, so I didn't really worry about having anybody near him when he stood up. Knocked him down, freed him up, ran him over here. Um, now I decided... Oof. Yeah, that sucked. I didn't have any rerolls, so it happened. But I, I did want him to stand there because it blocked in the ball. So his guys couldn't get to it without knocking my people around, making him not be able to form a cage uh, effectively around that. Basically, he has to. He would have had to knock my guys around to get get out of it. Of course, I won the block there, which was useful. Lucky for me, because frankly, he he had a four to three, so he should have done it. Wild animal that sucked. Uh, it did make a difference, and sometimes you have to deal with that. You know what? Rolls suck sometimes. At least I get paid for this match. Knocked him around. The wild animal, unlike Bonehead, are really stupid. Wild animal, he does not just... He doesn't become inactive. He's still there. He still has prehensile tail. He still benefits to strength. He just doesn't do what you want him to do. Because he is a wild animal. Yeah, that was so unlucky. 83% to grab that. 83%. Ugh. Ugh, I rolled a 1. He is fast enough that he would have been, boop, right on in. Really stupid. He, I would have stood somebody up first to move him. It is a huge difference. Huge difference. Me. We both made mistakes, but that was one that he, he could have made a big difference on that. But here's a smart thing he does. He knocks... Knocks him. Oh, and I am stunned. Oh, that, that's, that, I mean, those are huge differences. Although I, without the extra movement, I wouldn't have made it. And a wild animal again. Eh, lame. But I do prefer wild animal to really stupid. Because you still get his strength bonus when you do stuff. That's why I'm able to push people back and do things. And I basically just try to hurt him, because it's the last turn. Push him out. I do mistake there. I should have stayed. But shit happens. Still no injury, so I didn't get any SPP for that. Knocked him back. See, I made the mistake of not paying attention to the turns. Yeah, crowd. Stomped on him. 16. See, this is my turn, but he gets one more turn after this, too. And then I try to foul. With two guys. It was the best I had. Didn't end up getting any points, which kind of sucks. Didn't get called out for it, which is nice. Two blocks, Storm Vermin. N really? The other two guys? Uh, they were outclassed. No point in trying it. He would have had two dice on my one. He got, uh, he got, he would get the pick. So, no point. At least make it so he can't do damage to other people. See there, that guy was up. What happened last time? Might have, might have changed some stuff. But he got unlucky. Knocked out. 
Game over. It, it really came down to a few... I mean, I could have won at the end. A few few things considered. The wild animal did kind of hurt me. Not too drastically, because... The rat ogre still locks people down, even in these wild animal. You can't walk away from him. He's not doing... He just isn't going to follow your orders. He still sticks around. Still locks people down. So that's one reason why I like wild animal better than bonehead or really stupid because when you do really stupid or bonehead you don't move at all you don't impact at all you basically you i mean your character basically not there he's just that slot becomes something you can't use that's it um wiggle a stick yay he got got an increase i gave him pass uh, or accurate to go with his pass so i get a one one timid pass which is significant and he re-rolls for inaccurate passes or fumbles, so that's nice. Uh, inaccurate pass is just as bad. With his agility of three, that means basically I I pass on a a two or better. Or is it a three or better? Two or better on a d6, I'm pretty sure, with the accurate. So no more of that fucking up the pass thing. And an accurate pass... Which is what he would have is a plus one for the catcher to catch, so Did makes a huge difference. The new Cabal HD and there we go. From all don't, yeah. the don't know what he did. He beats it, but so like fast. Not many, not many knockdowns. See, thirteen armor breaks to three armor breaks. I mean, usually knockdowns thirty-eight to thirty-six. I mean, usually I double them. Even with a squishy team like, like uh, Skaven, yeah, he KO'd me a bunch, but but I managed to not die, which was fairly important. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, learned a few things, maybe some strategies you want to try with Skaven or Orcs. If you have any, um, if you like it, like it. I so new with this. Chances are hardly anybody's gonna see this, but if you do, awesome. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching uh, Minister of Hygiene's Drunk Gaming. Have a great evening.